What's going on there, internet world? I'm on my way to go kick my ass at the gym. Working on core today. I've been maxing my arms and chest out. So what would I do is I max out muscle groups. One day I'll do arms, arms, chest, shoulders. Next day I max out all the core, the back, uh, and these the sides. And then the next day I keep going back and forth and I max out each and every time. I've been doing that now for about three weeks and the results are, are phenomenal. The veins are popping up and all and all the stuff. Uh, I'm gaining in size and bulk and mass. I am eating about 4,000 calories a day <clears throat> uh, trying to bulk out. Uh, so yeah, it, it hurts. But I can't argue with the results. My blood pressure is normal. No medication, no nothing. It's 100% fucking normal. I love it. I love it. I hate working out, but I, I'm loving the results. I, I noticed that uh, at work, uh, things that are heavy, I'm able to move with ease. Uh, I, I carry around this uh, Honda generator. Uh, I don't know how much it weighs. I had never put it on a scale. It, it's got a little bit of weight to it. And, you know, I used to, when I was carrying it, had to lean my body like this. I now find myself, I just pick it up like, oh, it's nothing. I hold it up. I just walk one-handed right in the truck. Uh, it, it's the small things that I, I'm starting to notice. So, it's great. The only days I take off of uh, working out is Sundays. Uh, and... Sometimes it's Mondays. I just I can't wake up on Monday mornings. But all the other days, uh, I'm going and I'm lifting, or I'm doing heavy weight each time, just different muscle groups. I don't know health wise if maxing out every single day is good or not. I don't know it, uh, as an aggregate. But what I do know is for me, it's working. My chest ain't flabby anymore. It's nice. I love it. I am man. I feel like man. <laughs> anyway, that's enough on the workout stuff. Kyle Rittenhouse shit. I listened to every single second of that trial. Every last one. Mainstream media, you got it wrong. You are still getting it wrong. You are lying. Flat out. He did not take that weapon across state lines. He did not. He did not shoot black people. They were white guys. Has nothing to do with race and everything to do with action. Did y'all listen to the same trial that I did? I listened from open arguments to closing arguments. I made one comment prior to me listening to the closing arguments that the evidence is pointing in the direction that he should be acquitted. I uh, I had seen the videos prior to the trial just like everybody else. I think the videos are pretty self-evident. I don't know why these charges was even brought on this boy. I don't know. But listening to the evidence and the testimony... I'll put it to you this way. The prosecution did not make one single argument that made sense on a legal or moral aspect. Not one. Not even one. So bad that the prosecution actually did some unconstitutional behavior in court. The judge had to yell at them. The judge warned them about a particular video. A video... Mind you, that doesn't show Kyle pointing the weapon at anybody. It's all from a distance and stuff. It's so fucking... Even their version of the video is pixelated. It doesn't show anything. I watched all the videos. I listened to all the testimony. All of it. I don't need the media to tell me what to think. I was genuinely curious on this case. I was trying to figure out from the very beginning why this boy was even getting charged. So I listened. And I listened. 
and I enlisted. And let me tell you, it was fucking exhausting. It was grueling. It was, I, I don't know how many fucking hours of, of testimony and arguments I listened to. It was a lot. It was eight hours a day. I, I stayed a few days back. I unplugged from the media so that way I, there was no influence of, of any kind. So that way I can decide, based on the evidence, what the facts are. Very similar to that of the jury. The prosecution had to go and try to blame Call of Duty. Like, this motherfucker was grasping at straws from the very start of this case. So now I'm listening to the media. And there is a lot of the right-leaning media that is actually saying something that is cor- that is correct here. It is something that we all need to be mindful of. Here is why this is a victory to the American people. Here is why. And listen and listen closely. You have the right to protect yourself. Period. Even if you do not agree with somebody that's going out to try and protect a community under riots when the cops are not doing their job, you have the right to protect yourself if somebody is trying to hurt you. Period. It is a scary, scary world that it, it, any DA thought that taking this case was a good idea. It is fucking scary. Think about it. The government is trying to tell you that you cannot protect yourself. Scary, ain't it? It's downright fucking creepy. I am glad that the outcome was this. I don't think that Kyle is some fucking martyr. I don't think he's some fucking hero. He was just a boy who defended himself. That's it. <clears throat> That's it. This should not have ever even went to trial. There was no evidence that the state had that could have convicted this boy. And now I'm sitting here listening to the media talk about how it's white supremacy at its finest. And people who are saying that, oh, if he was black, he would have went to he would have went to prison. Each and every case needs to be looked at through the evidence of the case at hand. Kyle Rittenhouse is not a white supremacist. He is not part of a militia group. They scoured his social media. All of this in court. All of it. The media is lying to you. And if you are too stupid to realize that, that you need to get better sources before you start making an opinion on something, I don't know what to tell you. For years at this point in time, me and people of very similar political like-mindedness have been telling you that the media is garbage and I'll even go out as far as to say that I don't even like Fox. None of them. They all have an agenda. They all pick and choose what they want to talk about just to, to because the narrative matters. Only the narrative. Not the facts. The fucking narrative. Wake the fuck up up. Quit getting sucked into believing that somebody's opinion is fact. Unplug from all mainstream media. Tell all of them to fuck off and get out of your life. I am not advocating by any stretch of the imagination of banning them. I want them to talk. I want those media pundit heads to come up and look stupid and to take their fucking names. CNN, Yahoo News, all of them. I want that little that little label behind it. Brian Stelter, CNN, I want him to talk. I want him to make himself look like the idiot that he is. They will be the downfall of these news organizations. And you as the consumer have all the power in the world. We live in a day and age 
where if you want to find out information about something, it's easy. There are videos. Get on YouTube. If you want, like, like what I did with this case, I didn't tune in to a news organization to watch the trial and listen to it in real time. It was broadcasted. The whole fucking thing. The whole fucking thing. Now I'm lucky. I get to drive a lot in, in the day and stuff. Okay, fine. I got the time to, to sit down and, and listen to it. But also, I did this at home too. I, I was genuinely curious. I'm getting ready to do it to the... Uh, to the uh, God damn it, I can't remember the, uh, the, 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 uh, the Georgia case. The Ahmaud Aubrey case. I'm going to go back to day one and I'm going to listen to it all the way through because I heard a question at CPAC to Ben Shapiro about it and now I am genuinely curious about the legality of that entire situation. I want to see if Ben Shapiro's opinion or statement is true that it is a legal conundrum that they're facing there. I want to hear the facts of the case, not the fucking opinions. That's what pisses me off about the mainstream media. Ben Shapiro, Tim Pool, and all the other individuals that I choose to listen to that are open about their bias. They report the news, they read the sources, and then they give you a fucking opinion. And their opinion is based on the facts of the case. All mainstream media, their opinion is based on the opinion of the opinion about the case. And that's what pisses me off. That is not news. That is a talk show. There is a huge difference. There, there is no difference from CNN to The View. None. It's not news. Yeah, it gets me heated because I see it on the internet. But I, again, I have to point out that all these loud ass motherfuckers, they're on the internet. They're not in real life. There is more people like me, there is more people like you who may be watching this video than you think. The media, social media, the all, all of this all of these woke bullshit fucking con artists are trying to silence you and make you feel that you don't exist. form an opinion on something unless you know what the hell you're talking about. I have been guilty of it before. And getting sucked into something. It's easy. It's easy to do. But it's also easy to unplug and say, fuck you. Let me listen to it this way. Let me go to the actual source. Read the police reports. It's all fucking public. All of it. Make up your own goddamn mind. Quit living in fucking prison. That's my take on it. I love y'all.